The repair presented in this video is performed on a particular frame style. The look of the console and the cosmetic plastics is irrelevant to how this repair is made as long as your machine's frame style is closely similar to that shown in this video. Be sure to unplug your machine before attempting this repair and do not use power tools to make the repair. To access the wire harness, called the main wire in the owner's manual, on a bike, you will need to remove a number of components. Using a thin wrench, remove the left hand pedal from the left hand crank arm, turn the wrench to the right or counterclockwise. Using a flathead screwdriver with a thin tip, pop the upright cover loose and then slide it up the upright out of the way. Using the same flathead screwdriver, gently pry off the pedal disc and slide it off over the crank arm. Though not shown here, now is the time to also remove the right hand pedal and pedal disc. Remove the screws from the left and right hand side shields. Then slide the side shields around the crank arms and off the bike. Remove the zip ties securing the damaged main wire. Then disconnect connectors on the lower end of the main wire and remove the ground screw. Snip the connector from the lower end of the wire harness from the lower end of the damaged wire harness. Then tape the connector on the replacement wire harness to the old wire harness. You will be pulling the old wire harness up through the upright along with the new wire harness. You do not want them coming apart in this process, so tape them together securely. Once you have them taped together, push the tape section into the upright. Now remove the four screws that attach the console to the upright. Then holding the console above the upright, disconnect the main wire and the pulse wire from the console. Leaving the pulse wire where it is, gently pull the main wire up through the upright until the tape section emerges. Then remove the tape holding the two wires together. Discard the old wire harness and reconnect the new main wire and the pulse wire to the console. Now reattach the console to the upright. Reconnect the connectors to the lower end of the main wire and screw in the ground screw. If necessary, use zip ties, wire ties, or tape to secure any excess wire to the frame to keep it out of the way of moving parts. Now reattach the plastics that house the crank pulley but in reverse order. The left and right hand side shields, the left and right hand pedal discs, and the upright cover. Now reattach the right and left hand pedals to the right and left hand crank pulleys. Once everything is in place, pedal your bike slowly to make sure that everything is working properly.